Now, one of the good things about my job is that it appeals to my absolute nosiness and I get to visit a lot of people's homes. Now, I didn't have anything to do with this home. Um, I've been in this home a few times. It's good friends of mine, Tommy and Janice, uh, who are neighbours. And I just wanted to share how they have, over 30 years, bringing up their family in this and other homes, um, have created this build-up of beautiful colours and textures featuring Janice's favourite blue and purple combinations. But I wanted to take you through this amazing space because it's just good to see in a sea of when everybody wants the latest, what's the new colour and everyone's going for greys and streamlines, to come into a home like this and see the personality and feel the character and feel the warmth and the love of everything that's been put together over many, many years. So I'm in the entrance hallway here and what an amazing entrance hallway. Let me turn the camera around. No, I'll do it this way. In the entrance hallway, we have a beautiful, welcoming, almost nook with a fire. And it's like entering a beautiful boutique hotel, but it's got that emphasis of character and personality into it. And as you walk in, you get a little hint of what's to come. But I must say, yeah, there are a lot of lovely surprises along the way. Now, this hallway access from the front door not only has the fireplace area, but a lovely little office space by the window there, which is a fantastic use of space. And just a little break in atmosphere of large open spaces. But this little nook here that Janice has created, I'd say gives a little hint again to what we're going to be seeing. If we look at that lovely blend of traditional colonial with a contemporary twist and bringing in some new artworks and some really rich upholstered materials, for instance, the very much in vogue marble lamp and these curtains, which are absolutely sumptuous. And I love to see this in a time when we're all going for architectural simplicity, to actually look and feel these fabrics is absolutely sumptuous and stunning and creates such a beautiful, welcoming atmosphere. And the details as you go around the room start to appear as well. For instance, on a white shot, it just looks like a a plain paper, but this wallpaper is actually in a soft gold, almost champagne-like, and it has a spun webbed fabric on top. So with the character of the building and the modern mix of contemporary finishes, we have what I would say is a talking point and a great area to start in. Now, I'm going, I don't know where to start because <laughs> I want to save the best to last, but there is no best to last. It's all fabulous. These areas, and this house was built in 1912, has a lovely series of corridors, which they beautifully adorned with original pieces of art. So it's almost got like an art gallery atmosphere where we have a lovely background. Oh! Little tip nod to tartan there, which you know is my favourite. But it's the perfect foil and background for these stunning pieces of art. And what I'd like to do is take you into some of the bedroom areas. So along this corridor and a lovely break of pace with a beautiful little reproduction chair sitting in the corner there. Lovely hint to Scotland. And there's a little, although it's colonial, there's a wee hint to Scotland here and there. 
lovely contemporary books, India Hicks. Yes, she's quite good as well. And there's the lovely owners of the home, Janice and Tommy. So let's have a look at this bedroom here. Now, the thing I'm going to start with here is it's so nice to see how we make an ensuite without it being too over the top stand in line and match with the bedroom area. And you'll see that in this room, which I love, obviously, because it's tartantastic, you will see a great use of space. With the wow factor being that impressive faux fabric tartan wall where the whole wall is the headboard and just broken up with some lovely cushions with a karate chop well done Janice and those are from a company called Anta and that lovely blend of soft tartans gives a contemporary look. It fits in really well with the colonial built-in wardrobes, but gives the room a really lovely identity. And the little break of pace going on to the shades and that beautiful padded headboard wall. The whole wall has been upholstered Absolutely stunning. What a great use of space. What a great use of tartan. And I love the blend of the pelmets. And these ha had gone a little bit out of fashion, but in houses like this, where you're trying to create some atmosphere, and this is a family home, not a show home, the blend and the contrast of fabrics with Roman blinds, pelmets, full held back curtains the whole look is just so effortlessly comfortable now moving back down and that's what i was going to say in the ensuite simply use the same fabric for a roman blind for the bedroom and it instantly blends in with the mass with the master bedroom so back down into the hallway and some more amazing art. You can see back through into the entrance hallway there. And everywhere you look, you really just want to sit down and relax. And this is the beauty of this home. It's effortlessly elegant. Now I asked Janice, about her favourite things and descriptions. And she said she liked a kind of colonial atmosphere. And I think what she's done perfectly is the blend of almost colonial travel with the animal prints in this room. But she's given it a kind of classical twist as well. And you can tell they've done a bit of travelling because of some things obviously been brought back from their travels at this beautiful screen and kimonos. But the money shot for this room is the stunning bed with bedside cabinets and beautiful, almost empire lamps. And going on to the ceiling, Beautiful detailing in the form of that lovely lamp, ceiling fitting. And the curtains in this set, I mean, I do love the fact that Janice has experimented with different headings. And I am so in love with these tie backs, hold backs. This almost Grecian yet tribal fabric with the contrast header the marvellous closing bullion fringe.
and the amazing finials on the curtains. And I would love to spend some time in this room. You really feel as if you're on your travels. And this is something I would say to people who are doing their homes. If you have something that you cherish and love, don't throw it out with a new broom sweeps clean and everything has to be brand new. If you love something or have found something, integrate it into the design because then the design will have character and this room oozes character. The little chair in the corner. The detailing on the cushions. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So I've covered both bedrooms that I want to show you. And even quirky things like Tommy's top hats on the coat stand there. Just all these things really just put the meat on the bones and make this not only an interesting interior and an interesting use of colour, but an interesting place just to walk around. I've been here so many times and every time I come, I'm just that little bit nosier. But I want to show you the bathroom because in a time where bathrooms um, have become very clinical, very spa-like, possibly maybe lacking in identity, I would say this family bathroom really is going to knock your socks off because it's almost like being in the Savoy Hotel in London. It's being in a top class hotel or in the Ritz or somewhere that's opulent, but simply done with some timber effects, some paint effects and marble. This really is stunning. Have a look at this. Everything has been considered. Storage, display, makeup areas, beautiful little area here. A little seating nook. And that, look, that use of those colours and toile de jeu and the trimming on the curtains and the lace and a little air to tradition again we've got like a pinched plate heading here on a lovely pole with a fantastic almost plant like finial there can't remember the name of that it'll come back to me i'll shout it out probably stunning and a feeling of elegance and space and luxury on a beautiful warm cream slightly limited palette but with little blush splashes of pink and it really i would say for me is the kind of bathroom that you really want to have a little bit of a challenge in designing because this has taken some effort and thought and careful consideration and it's simply stunning but there's more we've done the bedrooms and the corridors and the entranceway i'm now going to take you into um a sort of public room which is again bang on trend for janice's particular love of color and here we have I call it the drawing room a beautiful
living space with a blend of a hint of colonial still where we're mixing modern geometrics, which is fantastic in Chevron. So we're still picking up and you can see that Janice is picking layers and different aspects of looks as she has evolved these designs of her home. The artwork perfectly picking out that amazing, beautiful, chunky curtain pole with the shaped heading again with the fringe and the look with the over puddled curtains at the bottom is just stunning. This area also has its own fireplace area, which is a great focal point as well. And yes, I have been singing Christmas carols around that piano. Too much mulled wine, probably. But my chorister boy soprano voice is still holding strong. But amazing, just that lovely blend of textures, comfort, style, and the colours are just so, you could almost want to wear them. They are just so rich. A view through back into the entrance hallway. And the thing I love about this being a family home, you could tell there's a lot of things. There's some quicky things around there. The artwork is amazing. It all speaks for itself. But you do then have... There's a fantastic boys, that's her family. Great kids. But you do have quirky little things like the Smoking Frog Prince. And that, again, really does put some character into what is the most sumptuous family home. Now, a break of pace here, and yes, I've been in this room quite a lot as well, is Janice and Tommy's bar. And this is a great use of space. It capitalises on the double height space and these lovely industrial lanterns and the open beams and the windows showing a little bit of the exterior architecture of the house has a wee hint to Scotland with these lovely cushions and that little seated area there. And there's Ur Willy, our national hero, in the corner there. Again, personality and fun. So nothing's too stuffy or you feel uncomfortable in being in this space you want to relax you want to kick off your shoes you want to go over to the bar and drink all their champagne <laughs> but what a great use of space on the side of the house and the artwork again stunning beautiful use of color and texture and character and personality. It's just almost like flicking through the pages of a really beautiful interiors book. Jazz has done such a super job here and I'm so delighted they've let me have a peek in their pad today. But there's more! So back through from the bar into the drawing room
and we're going to go into the hallway again before I take you into the stunning dining room, which is amazing. Janice hasn't held herself back here. And the combination of blues and purples in this gorgeous, almost Regency, yet still colonial feel, almost Japanese. Toile de jour room. And you know, a lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't have curtains that match the wallpaper, but this, look pulls everything together and the contrast of the oriental into the colonial and this lovely window bay area is just is good enough to eat it's simply stunning and not overly dressed doesn't need to be overly dressed because all the detail is in the upholstery is in the wall covering is in the curtains and then the artwork just pops some pieces of color around the room and it's lovely that they've actually introduced the gold and the bronze, as well as all the silvers for a really almost grand country house feel. And the elegance is just exuding effortlessness. I just absolutely love it. And stunning gardens here. These are from Janice and Tommy's own garden, pulling in all the purpley blues. And it's just a little attention to detail pull everything together. A stunning, almost breathtaking and charming dining room. And as I work my way through the house, because this is a family home, as we've said, the other bedrooms of the family are upstairs in the upstairs area, but this is the heart of the home. And this is a stunning, and it's been knocked through into a couple of different areas into this amazing family, open plan, den, kitchen, and bar dining area. And the contrast of the rich dark woods and the black marble, and those, again, colonial, slightly industrial chain lamps with the gold interior, just brings everything into play of all the different styles that combine to make this an amazing family home. You can hear the doggies wanting out soon because it's the dog's home too. Beautiful artwork on the wall and like the corridor areas, it's a beautiful soft cream and what we have is the pops of colour. And there's, there's the lady herself, there's Janice. Thank you for letting us into your home today. <laughs> the dogs are ready for a walk. <laughs> and you'll see that the blend and finish of all the different contrasts of darks and tones and where it's simple and cream and elegant it is, and where you have the contrast of colours or those sparks of that stunning purple and blue. I want to end in the dining room because this, for me, is what they call in the business, the cover shot. An elegant combination of dining atmosphere with crystal, toile de jour, and colonial meets Regency. And I think what I'd like to say mostly about this amazing house is, first of all, thank you to Janice and Tommy for allowing us a peek in their pad today. But I'd also like you to have a look 
and think outside the box when you're thinking about your interiors because we are more than just following the trend. We all wanted wallpaper off the wall, they wanted creams all the time, we now want greys, but think outside the box. You can have a feature room, you can make a feature very, very simply and make a huge, huge statement. Your home is your home and you live in your home and no one else does. Enjoy your Sunday. Enjoy your day.